Andy Tabini, you know, I was going to ask you, you're one of the cornerstones of Mayweather Promotions. You've pretty much been here since, you know, from the your beginning of your uh, pro debut, right? Yeah. Mayweather Promotions. What's it been like? How have you seen things change around the gym or and your life since you've been pro? Um, you, know, like, you know, just a lot more people came, you know, um, not really too much change, you know. But, um, you know, I got, you know, got more popularity. Got more people, got more respect than um, when I first had, you know. So. Do you pay attention to that? Like how often people are talking about you, the respect you're given? I mean, how important is that to you? Uh, you know, respect is very important to me, you know. Uh, it's just real cool people talking about me. Uh, you know, so I'm just blessed, you know. I just stay humble about it. That's just something I always pray for. Got you. Now, you're looking at 2016. Um, you're undefeated. Um, what are you, 11 0 now? 12? 12 0. 12 0, 11 knockouts, I believe. Um, how far away do you feel you are from that stage where it's like all eyes will be on you, a title shot, stuff like that? Um, you know, I'm just going to take one day at a time. You know, I'm not for sure. Um, maybe get around about 60 fights. You know. Okay. What about. The teammates around you at Mayweather Promotions, are, are you genuinely interested in their careers too? Like you keep an eye on them, you like push each other stuff, type stuff? Um, yeah, I don't really work with too many guys on the, um, on the Mayweather Promotions. Um, I mean like, you know, sparring too much. Um, but um, yeah, I do try on them, you know, I, I, I do uh, support them. Yeah. Yeah. Who are some like the favorite guys that you've learned from or guys that you like uh, respect in this gym? Um, you, know, you know, I like Mickey Bay, you know, Jelly um, You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like, um, I like Bobby Jack. Yeah. Uh, I think he's came a long way. Um, I, think he, um, I think them guys are great fighters. Now, was it, you feel you kind of had an edge that you were, the fact that you are being able to train and also study Floyd Mayweather and watch him? How, like, beneficial was that to you? Uh, man, it's, it's a blessing, man, but, um, yeah, I learned a lot from him. I, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's good to basically see, um, study what he do. You know, gain some experience by doing that. You know. Got you. You look at the boxing landscape. Um, what are your thoughts on some fights coming up? Like Porter Thurman. I know I did a prediction. Probably got your thoughts. But I mean, are you excited for that one? Uh, I'm like whatever. You know, best man win. Yeah. But, um, I think it's gonna be a good fight. Do you watch? Do you watch boxing? Because there's fighters who they watch it. Diehard fans. Some don't even watch it. Um, here and there. Here and I there. I watch too, too much. But yeah. So you keep an eye on like certain, that certain fights. Yeah. Cruiserweight champion, the heavyweight division, stuff like that. Uh, I like the heavyweight division. Um, what do you cruiser think? Weight, not, really not too much. What do you think of Luis Ortiz, a heavyweight? That's the Cuban guy. Yeah, he stopped the Tony Thompson. Um, yeah, I think he's pretty good. Um, but you know, yeah, don't, don't you have a loss though? I don't think he does. He has like a no contest because he okay. tested positive okay, yeah. after the fight with uh, Latif Coyote, I think. Okay, yeah. So, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think he's coming up. You know what I'm saying? He might, he might be able to take the um, title. Dude, what about the city of Las Vegas? Do you ever get caught up in like anything going on out here? Like, are you distracted uh, easily? Uh, no, I, I think I've been raised out here too. You know, um, this is just. It's just yeah. Another city, you know. But you seem like a humble person, though. Like you never been above yourself. You never a huge talker. Why? Why is that? Uh, you know, life, man. Um, I just uh, appreciate life, and um, you know, I could be. Uh, I'm in a good place, you know. I'm in a better place than where I, where I, where I was. Got you. An another fight, Canelo Khan. You think Amir has a chance? <clears throat> Amir Khan has a chance against Canelo. Nah, I don't think he got a chance. Um, <coughs> no, Amir Khan came from 140. Uh, he skipped 147. I don't even think he fought 147 yet. I don't know. But um, he fought a few times. I, I guess I guess it's at 150, 155. Uh, I think Canelo way too strong, especially at 155. Got gotcha. you. When you look back at your ride here in the boxing game, what do you want to say you did? Like, what do you want to take with you? You know, from it all. Where I want, where I want to take one? Yeah, like to where you like. You know what? I got everything I wanted out of this sport, whether it was money, legacy, fame getting something for your mom, you know. Yeah. What do you want out of this boxing game? Um, you know, I, I want to be remembered, you know, some um, legacy. You know, also take some money with me, you know, about, um, build a family, have my own family, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically what Floyd did, you know. I, I probably won't ever reach um, the, um, the, the things he have, but, um, you know what I'm saying, get close to it.